Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. This is gonna be good for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, or if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, you can see if these messages resonate with you as well. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. So it will not resonate with every single one of you watching. Uh, take the messages that resonate and leave what does not. Um, I could be talking to you or the cross watcher. Okay. Um, all right. So if it doesn't resonate, don't try to force it and check your other placements. Okay. So right away I was getting two things. One love hate. So you could be dealing with a love hate type of relationship connection. And then also, um, it's complicated. So, uh, Sagittarius, this could be for you or the person you're dealing with. You could feel like you're in a very complicated situation with someone and you may at times feel like you're just like so done with that connection, but you always find yourself, it's like can't live with them, can't live without them. That's the energy that I'm getting. Um, it's complicated. It's a love-hate relationship. You and this person have a very like flirtatious, passionate connection. Um, but I feel like you guys trigger each other. Like you guys have a lot of... Um, you guys may mirror each other a lot or just trigger each other and really reflect uh, shadow work that needs to be done. There's a lot you and this person have learned um, about yourselves and about each other. Okay, somebody could be very like withdrawn and serious. Um, there is a very like dominant energy here that's showing up. So you could be dealing with somebody who's very dominant, um, which I don't know how that would really work with a Sag. <laughs> so you could be dealing with somebody who's very dominant and you have a hard time allowing that to be, right? Um, but you're trusting the process. You're trusting your intuition when it comes to this connection. I feel like um, there is an energy here really needing to open up and have some type of heart to heart conversation. I also feel like there's an energy here really needing to heal um, from the past. Sagittarius, there could be an age difference between you and this individual, uh, or you could have children with this person, okay? Or one of you could act very immature. There's an energy here of waiting. So you and this person, I'm getting like a very on and off type of energy. You guys could be very on and off. You could feel like this person's manipulative or they could feel this way about you. Um, and you may be guarded a bit, you or your person. I'm just getting like, okay, so you could feel a lot of ways that this person doesn't reciprocate your feelings or your efforts in this connection. And you're really trying to decide what it is that you want. I feel like... For some of you, there's going to be some type of like proposal or some type of ascension in this connection here soon. Also, guys, um, my readings are timeless, so I could be reading past, present, or future energies. So just take it how it resonates, okay? Um, so, yeah, what I was getting is somebody could be um, taking things to the next level or wanting to take things to the next level, a proposal, um... I do feel like you may put this person on a pedestal or they put you on a pedestal, Sagittarius. Um, I'm hearing like long haul. So this could be somebody who you see yourself with. Wow, yeah. And then what pops over? Soulmate and reconciliation. So again, with that like on and off energy, I feel like it's complicated. The love-hate relationship. You can't live with them. You can't live without them. Um, this is a soulmate connection. And I do feel like this person is returning or you're returning to this person. Um, because this person ultimately makes you happy, even though I'm getting like, you know the old married couples that fight all the time about stupid shit that doesn't even matter? Like that's what I feel like this is. You guys may have a very like, I don't know, like off and on connection. Um, but it's like no matter what happens, you guys still end up back together, okay? So, um, some of you could be, I'm getting like travel. You could be traveling with your person or your person could be at a distance from you. Um, but you guys could be in a space of really trying to follow your intuition when it comes to, yeah, trusting, having faith that this will come together. Hmm. Letting go of control issues. So allowing the situation to unfold naturally. So just allowing things to be, not trying to force things, um, 
manifesting, calling in your soulmate. See, calling, manifesting a new beginning. A lot of you are manifesting a new beginning with this person. I do feel though, you guys, for those I'm reading for, you guys could have had some type of toxic codependent connection in the past, right? And so there's really a need, yeah, to heal from this, the things that have happened between the two of you in the past, maybe addictions, uh, this could be you or your person, needing to heal from that. Some of you could have taken a time out to really um, retreat your energy and focus on self-love and really heal from addictions, I'm getting, um, mm -hmm, and really get to a space of finding happiness within yourself before jumping into a relationship or trying to make it work again. Like That's the energy that I'm getting. Some of you have really been working on your shadow work. And you went through some type of transformation and now you're ready to come back around for this person. You or the other person, take it how it resonates. And now there's an energy of coming back around and trying to make it work and taking things to the next level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, coming out of separation, wanting to work on this. There's a very passionate connection here between the two of you. Yeah, and wanting to heal. Heal the connection. Okay. All right. So let's see what else. Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody, I'm getting, someone could have kept secrets in the past. Someone could have cheated in the past. It could have been some manipulation, mind games. You could have felt like this person lied to you or they were cheating on you. Some of you could be dealing with a twin flame connection. You could have been dealing with somebody who really tries to remain in control and hide their feelings from you. There's an energy here of someone waiting. For this to come back together it's like knowing and waiting for this to come back together somebody wants you back someone wants to support you someone wants to put you on a pedestal um mm -hmm. see work towards some type of resolution here but there's an energy here of having fears of rejection having fears of abandonment somebody here in the past had some wounds that were pretty extensive um or addictions that were um, I'm, it's like somebody here was really going down a, a dark path, right? And they weren't at the time they weren't willing or, or ready or even able to face that problem at that time. But somebody here really went on, um, a self journey or withdrew their energy and did some soul searching and healed themselves. Right. And now they feel like they're ready to come forward, but they still have fears surrounding like rejection due to previous behaviors. I'm getting you and this person could have a lot of differences, uh, cultures, religious factors, age, the way you guys grew up, the way you guys do things. I do see, um, definitely a separation here between the two of you. That's not on and off energy here. There's a lot of regrets here from the past Sag. Um, you could have pushed this person to learn how to set boundaries, testing their limitations, and they could have done the same to you, for you as well. There's definitely a need to compromise. I feel like in the past, the timing was not right between the two of you, but I do feel like you guys are getting to a space of, um, I'm hearing growth. So a lot, both of you guys could have had a lot of growth, and now you're getting to a space of... You guys are ready to compromise and meet each other halfway. I do feel like this is a very passionate connection. Yeah, I do. You guys married each other in a lot of ways. And I do feel like either you or this person or both of you really at one time felt like this was over. Strong energy here. Uh, really like I'm hearing like dialing in and focusing on self-love, self-care. And that's what broke the cycle. I'm hearing that's what broke the cycle. Because I feel like you guys were on... I'm hearing like a roller coaster who was just like, they're showing me the eight. So it was just like, whew, like just the same patterns over and over again. And someone derailed that and really did some work here. Shadow work. Okay. Um, you could have had commitment issues in the past, Sag, or your person could have had commitment issues in the past. I do see like deception, lies, cheating, painful things that have happened in this connection in the past. But there's a lot of regrets there surrounding that and wanting to move forward all right yeah i do see healing a lot of healing work happening here between the two of you there's your energy all right so we're gonna look at let me move some of these cards because there's a whole bunch we're gonna look at 
uh, your person's energy, what they're thinking about when it comes to your connection, Sagittarius. We're going to do the same for your side. Mutual energies, blockages between the two of you, um, and the potential outcome. Take what side resonates because this is a general reading, so I could be talking to you or your person. So just you may resonate resonate more with one side, um, your person's side, than yours. Okay, so just take it how it resonates. So. Sagittarius, the person that you're dealing with, what is on their mind when it comes to your connection? What are they thinking about when it comes to you and your connection for Sagittarius? What are they thinking about? Wow. Either this person left you out in the cold, Sag, or you left this person out in the cold and they're thinking about that. Self-sabotaging. There could be some self-sabotaging going on. They're thinking about the intensity of your connection. They're thinking about um, some type of communication involving love. Could be someone with a Pisces, Gemini. Um, and then you have the five of pentacles here at the bottom. So they're thinking about you left them or they left you making a decision here to walk away from the connection. Um, but also at the same time thinking about some type of communication, messaging of love. This is also Pisces energy. It's a very like daydreamy energy. They could be thinking a lot about you, about your guys' connection. How do they feel towards Sag? Could be done with a Taurus. You could be married to this person or could have been. Yeah, wow, look at this. They feel like you are their person, Sagittarius. They feel like you are a divine partnership. You are their two of cups. Somebody they could have this commitment with. How? Some, I'm hearing counseling too. So some of you could be, um, they feel like they could be in counseling from your guys' connection, or you guys could be doing couples counseling or something like that. How do they view you, such A missed opportunity. See, but they think a lot about the past. Six of cups, four of cups. They view you as a missed opportunity, um, reminiscing about the past, a reunion, wanting to work together, wanting to collaborate. Hmm. What's on your mind, Sagittarius, when it comes to this person and this connection? What is on your mind? Knight of Swords. So charging forward and communicating with this person quickly is what you're thinking about. How do you feel? Some of you could be traveling to see them, I'm seeing. Ooh, ouch. You feel um, this is very painful. This ending is very painful for you. You're trying to heal, recover from this painful ending. Yeah, there's healing and recovery here. You're trying to reclaim your independence, get back on your own two feet, something like that. How do you view your person? You could view your person as going towards something new, withdrawing from you, moving towards something new, getting attention from other people. What is the mutual energy? The world. Completing a cycle. Could be dealing with another fire sign. Um, Scorpio is here as well. Somebody here is waiting for results. Your side, you're wanting to take action. Their side, they're completing a cycle and waiting for results. It could have been an unexpected ending for you, Sagittarius here. What's in the blockage? Illusions, confusion, temptation. Some of you are being tempted by something. Um, and some, some of you could have options and that's what's in the blockage. Why is this here? Five of Cups. Some of you are really thinking a lot about the past, but also in the blockage of some type of temptation and old wounds, pain that's happened in the past. What's in the outcome here? Ooh, you have the King and Queen of Wands, so some of you are dealing with the fire sign. Judgment. It's time to make a final call surrounding this connection. I feel like there is an energy here of taking action towards this person, um, communicating, starting something new. There's a lot of burdens from the past, Sagittarius. Um, it's going to take a lot of strength to restrain yourself. Let me see. 
What else? What's in the outcome? See, there's temptation with the devil. Wow. So you have Capricorn, Aries, strong Leo, Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay. So um, there is forward movement here. Some of you are making a decision between two people. You have the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. Two of Swords. Some of you are really making a decision between two people and what really makes you happy, the Ten of Cups. And you're walking away from a situation that no longer serves you towards something that really makes you happy. But you could still be tempted by someone from the past. Um, but I do see forward movement and communication here and taking things to the next level. But it's going to require a lot of strength and restraint from reaching out to someone from your past or making this decision. I'm seeing. Sagittarius. But you do have an ideal match here. You have someone who, yeah, they're a pain in the ass, but it's your other, you have the king and queen of wands here. It's your other half, the lovers. This is someone who you have that divine partnership with. And you guys both know that. But, um... Maybe you need to make a decision between two people or decide what it is that you truly want, you or your person. Take it how it resonates, but someone here definitely has options. There's evolution happening. Someone's evolving. Mm -hmm. and, and there is a divine partnership here because you have the... Emperor and the Empress here in your outcome. But choices need to be made. So, yeah, that's what I see for you, Sagittarius. Let's see, what would your person want to say to you, Sag? What would your person want to say to you? Someone here is trying to bury their love for the other person. Finding safety in the silence between us. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. I'm living the consequences of my choices. Time has brought me clarity about us. Maybe I made the wrong choices. I still love you. I knew you were right, but I couldn't admit it to myself or you. I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe in you. You are my best friend. I don't know if I can live up to your image of me. There's still hope for us. If you can take me back, can you forgive and forget? That I feel like is the most important piece here because someone needs to do a lot of forgiving <laughs> and forgetting of the past if that's something that you're willing to do or your person um you were the love of my life i didn't figure that out before but now i know that it's true see someone's having some type of awakening so yeah that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope that was helpful i hope that brought you some clarity to your situation and i will talk to you soon bye